Hello, my name is Bruce Fairbanks. Uh, I'm Bishop of Willesden, and at the moment I'm acting Bishop of Stepney, looking after uh, East London, the Church of England. Uh, you're doing a series on Philippians, which is a great letter where Paul writes about all kinds of things, but he's very autobiographical. Uh, in chapter three, he talks about why it was that he found becoming a Christian such a radical and life-changing thing and where he had to put away the stuff that he'd done before uh, when he was classing himself as a Jewish Pharisee uh, and realizing that if you become a Christian the whole deal changes. Uh, I became a Christian in 1966 which is uh, kind of stone age these days. Uh, two great things happened in 1966. England won the World Cup uh, and I became a Christian and it was an interesting moment because I had although I was an adolescent, I definitely embraced being an atheist. Uh, I didn't believe in God. I thought the whole thing was a load of nonsense and uh, I didn't understand why anyone wanted to uh, make that sort of thing up. Uh, but I went to a camp where Christians were talking about their faith and someone told me about the story of uh, Paul, uh, St. Paul, and about his dramatic conversion. And the more and more I heard the stories about Jesus, the more real I realized that uh, this was the real deal, that he was somebody who'd claimed to be God, uh, lived a life which was perfect, uh, died and risen again. And if all that was true, it demanded my total allegiance. Uh, so it was the most radical thing for me. I became a Christian. And I remember waking up the day after I got back from the camp and realizing, well, life can never be the same again. Uh, it's always going to be this radical change that Jesus Christ has made in my life. Paul talks about it as though uh, he was getting everything in his life beforehand and writing it off as rubbish. Quite sure I'd put it in those terms. I think I would say it was an amazing change. It stayed with me uh, all these years. It's what's made me who I am today. Uh, and once I became a Christian, there was no going back. It was like this is the only explanation for life. Uh, I have to live it, and I have to do it, and do it well. So bless you as you do your series on Philippians. May you learn how radical and life-changing it is to follow Jesus Christ. Amen.